hello everyone so in this video we are going to see about the triggers what is trigger and how actually we use in a sql server that actually we will try to understand in this particular video okay so trigger itself by name itself we can understand trigger means we are triggering an event suppose any kind of the event is happening in your table suppose you have one table suppose any kind of the insert is happening update is happening delete is happening any kind of the event you can think of okay any kind of the event is happening and if you want to tr trigger any kind of the message in that case or any kind of the activity you want to do in that kind of the scenario we generally go for the trigger okay suppose you have one of the scenario suppose you have a employee table okay in employee table what actually happening suppose uh, if the new employee is coming okay and their salary is getting inserted now what actually you want to do whenever the employee is getting inserted their salary if their salary is getting updated now you want to find out the difference from the previous one so this kind of the scenario also we can do okay now the his previous salary was 10000 now the new salary which got updated is 20000 what is the difference what is the total amount of the promotion that is 10000 right so this kind of the things which we, we can do with the help of the trigger okay now let's take an another example suppose you have a table suppose even i have one of the table let me try to show you i have this employee info table employee info table i have okay now i will try to execute that okay so i have id user ping and the ping one now what actually i want whenever whenever anyone is inserting any record i want to show them a particular message like you cannot insert any value into this particular table for me for my safety purpose because if i will make it open so anyone can come and anyone can insert any records right so in that kind of a scenario also we can handle with the help of the trigger okay let me try to show you suppose uh, so how actually we can create a trigger create trigger and the trigger name what is the tri trigger name i am giving i am giving trigger name as a emp trigger okay now what actually i will do on which particular table you want to create a trigger i want to create a trigger into my employee info table okay okay so after this we have to give condition for what condition you want to give i am i have we have to write for after that we have to write for like insert if anyone is doing insert update and delete on my table okay if anyone is uh, doing this kind of the thing in my table so what actually i will show them i will print the this particular you cannot edit on this table means this particular trigger will trigger okay whenever anyone is doing any kind of the insert update or delete kind of the activity so this trigger will occur and it will show the print message as a you cannot add it on this table and let me say as a rollback okay if i will execute that you will get one trigger got created successfully okay let me open my employee info table okay now we have only created the uh, trigger one time okay now next time when let me try to insert any record okay so what actually i will try to do i will try to insert into this particular table okay let me insert the six record let me give any value okay let me try to insert this particular record if i will try to insert now the trigger will occur okay insert into table insert into employee info let me see the info values okay let me try to insert now if i will try to insert you can say we are getting one message you cannot add it on this particular table okay and uh, now if you will try to execute this the record not get inserted because the trigger is getting happened okay so this is how actually the trigger works now if you want to delete any record like delete from employee info 
okay in my where id equal to the one if i will try to do this activity then also we will get the same message you cannot add it on this particular table so now like this actually we can do a restriction we can create a trigger so for the insert update and delete i have created one trigger if anyone is doing this kind of the activity they should get this particular message that you cannot create a you cannot add it on this particular table so like this you can create a multiple trigger even if you can create a trigger like uh, if anyone is inserting you want to do some kind of the plus or some kind of the minus on this particular that kind of the activity also you can do okay even i have created it for the insert update and delete same you can create it for the for the create table for the uh, alter table for the drop table that also you can do it okay so like this actually trigger trigger is nothing but if any kind of the activity is happening on my table i will trigger a message and i will restrict them to do that kind of the activity okay